episode 19 starting at 301.50 cash game playing 10 and L there are currently looks like five tables at this limit we're gonna try to play them all I'm on all the waiting lists so it shouldn't take too long I haven't played a hand yet so you're seeing it all let me know how the music is I ran into a little problem yesterday where my uh, my VOD got muted because of uh, really is the camera not working really that's fun anyway my VOD got muted I'll fix this don't worry uh, because where is the cam here we go uh, because apparently I had some kind of uh, whatchamacallit um, copyrighted music see that keeps unplugging though I don't know why that's doing that can I plug you in in a different spot sir my camera has been giving me a little bit of a issue so then I have to change to this one I don't want to use that one and I'm not going to use that one and we'll go to the live camera plus that one makes me look fatter than I already am all right so this is this <clears throat> hopefully it keeps working but who knows yeah so the old VOD got uh, muted so can't use Lofi uh, Lofi girl lo-fi girl whatever it's called Easy calls, Queen on the River. Man, that fucking camera. I wonder if I could plug it in. Hmm. I know I should have checked it, but I just felt like the other the player was on bullshit. So let's see what happens here if I plug the camera in over here and look it on and then do this and do this that should work right nope that's not working at all uh, wow that really fucked everything up Okay, so this is working. But this isn't working. Hmm, guess I can't plug that in there. I honestly don't really feel like uh, getting intensely technical with it, so we might lose the camera and then we might not have a camera, so too fucking bad. <laughs> honestly, it's just one of those frustrating things. Leading that river is just like, I'm up against a player who doesn't fold a lot, so... I also don't want to show the showdown if I don't have to in that scenario. So, I don't think he's on one pair, and even if he is, I don't think he's betting the rivers, so... I think it looks better if I go bullshit and try to bet big. I probably should have just jammed all the way over the top, but... Whatever. Honestly, after the last three or four days, I'm a little punchy from the ridiculous stuff that's been happening online. So, any good decisions I make should be applauded. 
because in all honesty, I, I, I'm surprised I'm able to make any at all. Alright, that looks alright. So what you're listening to now is probably something you're going to hear a ton of. It's a 12 hour long uh, lo-fi thing that's been approved for general use. It's called Lo-Fi Chill Beats, 12 hours of DMCA free, copyright free music for Twitch streamers. And it's literally just a video of this record doing this. And uh, you're hearing it. Maybe is that something dynamic I can put on stream? Like, should I put that on stream? Meh. But yeah. So, and just to have a little background music, I actually really like it. So you see a min raise and a re raise. See you guys here. Always get a few peoples. Uh, I'm gonna check backdoor fate, backdoor spade draw. Middle pair is not bad. That bet's kind of not too scary. All right, the ace isn't bad. Makes it less likely our opponent has an ace. I'm gonna check if he bets. I'm probably gonna call. Very good, very good, very good. No reason to see that. Look at this. My man gets drawn out on by one of two tens. I thought about three betting it. Flop bet was a good size, but yeah, I don't think you fold with the ace, ten of diamonds, and you definitely don't fold now. Player's too short. A very gloomy day in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Vegas. Pocket tens again. Is this going to be the hand of the day? So I get led at. It's very unlikely he's gonna have a five or get a five, right? Betting awfully big though. I mean, is this usually just a pair? play bro I guess it's just a pair right so I guess I could have gotten more aggressive on the flop yeah a lot of that going on today 
Like, and these were the bluffs I was picking off last night, but the motherfucker kept getting there. Oh, is that covering too much? It's covering kind of a lot, right? I guess I should make these smaller. Because I am going to have six across. It'll be just like that. great but it's better mm -hmm. bottom pair or second pair back for spade draw Definitely not going to overthink this one. Where did these shoes come from? I got them off eBay a while ago. The the sole came off. I never saw any black and yellow shoes. Have you seen them? So I think I want to check here and let the river improve me. Either that or I'm just crushed. Wow. 10-6, like literal no reason to be calling. That's kind of hilarious. 10-6. That flop was... Eight. That flop was ace-deuce-8. I'd like to say I missed value, but there's no way I can read for 10 6. I guess I really could have bet the turn. I'm a little punchy, I think. I'm kind of gun shy, you know? It's a limped pot. This isn't great. I should bet because that's this fucking guy. Where the hell is everybody going? there was a third player in the pot. That's honestly the only reason why I checked. I don't know what the fuck happened. The guy folded without uh, without a bet in front of him.
just always calls the flop, huh? Okay, that's a weird bet. Okay. God damn it, Jack on the turn. I think it's worth a call. What I know of his betting pattern, it's definitely worth a call. Why is my fucking camera fucking up? go no camera if this shit keeps up because this is just fucking frustrating man like seriously that shit is goddamn annoying Not folding, I can't. King, king or eight, come on, trap him, fucking fuck this guy. <sighs> so fucking gross. It's just frustrating. It's like, put more money on the table, you goddamn idiot. It's just like, it's just, there's just no way to do anything. And my notes on him, like, I should never fold. Anybody have anything ever? No, of course not, right? It's annoying. <sighs> calm down, calm down. Why limp the queen 10 if you're not even going to bet it for value when it's top pair on the river? Okay. That 
That's okay. <laughs> I can definitely be beat, but I got a backdoor flush and straight draw. I think I'm going to go ahead and bet. Like, 3x pot? Congratulations on your ace. You made two blinds. Another king on the turn. Player's only got three bucks. I'm going to bet it bigger. Like, it's just... They're going to draw, so I might as well charge them, right? Four clubs. Six of diamonds. <sighs> Can't call it. Aces. Ten on the turn sucks, because I can't even bet it to protect against draws. Really? I find that hard to believe. Jesus Christ. Why slow roll it? Oh my God. Bet's the full... P uh...
I'm only calling this because of certain players in the pot. I don't really expect a four bet very often. Is this fucking donkey seriously betting the pot the whole way? Oh, so many fucking outs. turn is kind of rough for all parties involved. Hey, what's up, Doubt? How you doing, my man? Going pretty good, just getting started. Let me know how the music volume is, man. Long time since I saw you online. Have you changed your nickname on Twitch? Don't recognize the current one. Yes, I did. Spread the word. God damn, my camera is messing up again. Like, ugh. Like, I have to... It's like a Nintendo controller. I gotta pull it out and fucking blow on the fucking ridges. And then I gotta reset this thing. While I'm trying to play. Thank you, my man. Uh, yeah, I was uh, off Twitch for 1,486 days. But I'm back. I'll need the good luck, my man. Really? This is so fucking stupid. <sighs> Just a set of deuces cracks my fucking aces over here.
the overbet jam when the spade hits. Like, and here's the thing, it's like a player sitting there with five bucks, and it's just like... There's a flush draw. I got a bet. This player's calling for God knows what reason. The turn, I just put the fucking guy in and he just rolls over deuces every fucking time. Oh. Yeah, but it's not so bad. The uh, ice chewing. As I drink uh, a ton more water now. <laughs> I basically gave up on the, uh, the crystal light drinks and things like that. I enjoy one or two uh, eight ounce sodas a day. And this is one of them. And when I do, I tend to chew the ice because I really try to enjoy it. But yeah, it's not as bad as it used to be. Also got a table or a countertop uh, ice maker that uh, uh, makes very uh, soft ice. It actually chews quieter, believe it or not. Like this is a lymph pot. This guy made it a buck seventy to go. This got cold called twice. How do you not just jam? Yeah, just fucking bet. Like, this should be an over, or should be a pair on the bottom. Aces, and it's just tens. There's just nothing he can do. Why don't you just jam all the money in? You have a dollar seventy behind. Are you really going to fold when that flop comes off? Like, look at this shit. Went from a limp to 17x. It's like, are you really going to fold if, like, something weird comes off? Just ace high calling for no reason. Like this guy at least bet a nine. Ugh. I, I should have called that. That's a total misclick. I was literally thinking call as I hit fold. <laughs> start to the day. Aces cracked twice. Make the nuts get drawn out on once. Depressing. Is this fucking table gonna go again? Like, this table has started and stopped three times in the last 20 minutes. Thank you. 
There ain't no more uh, crunch. I, I really don't do it anywhere near as much as I used to. be a day where I need to get out of the house. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I'm like, it's one of those things where like, it seems like every day is bleeding into the next. And it's just like making no difference. And I'm not really in the mood to play tournaments right now. I haven't been for about a week. So, I'm enjoying the cash games, but it feels very Groundhog Day, you know? It's like, get up, feed the dogs, take them out, come back, you know, laundry, fucking make breakfast, eat breakfast, brush my teeth, look what's seen going on online, do a little bit of study, come back there, blah, 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 fire up a cash game, blah, 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 and it's just like, ah. It's like you ever see that episode of uh, Spongebob where Squidward ends up in the community of squids and every day is the same and he just kind of falls into this massive depression, like had this big smile on his face because he got everything he wanted. And then after he did everything like a hundred times, he was just like, eh. like, that's basically the way I feel. Well, I do like this lo-fi. This music's really good. I like it. Last few days have reminded me of like playing with people who are like well I like calling when a guy raises with garbage because uh, then I know if I hit something you know I got a good chance of cracking them because you know I, if the guy has aces blah 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 it's like hearing these fucking dumb shits and it's just like yeah but you're gonna lose so many more fucking stacks and blinds when you just get you know starting out against the worst hand I'll buy this 5-6 Spector straight draw. I mean, if you're going to bet that small, gut shot. 5-6-7. Any one of those will do just fine. What is this is so aggravating it's so aggravating because I've seen this so many times it's just it's just pussy poker it's just like you betting super small super small getting no protection getting no value and then over bet jamming the river with one pair and it's just like ugh. of course the ace comes off I 
can't even bet. This fucking retard. This is why I got a jam on these fucking idiots. Oh my god. Like you three bet and then make no attempt when the ace hits. And it's like I can't bet because there's nothing that's gonna call me that I beat. But you make no attempt. Like I was waiting for him to bet the turn in river. Just he made no attempt whatsoever. But if I bet, he's just like well, I can 3-bet from the small blind, but when I get 4-bet, now I have to hit a set. Really? Do you? So it's so crazy. Like, the ace hits, and I'm trapping with the kings. Like, that's the the mentality that I'm, <laughs> I'm in. Because, I, like, I know what's going on, but I just can't get the... Uh, can't get the action. What is this? I mean, I'm getting six to one. The only person on this table folding second pair right here. Believe it or not. I might hit a queen. If you're not snap calling, like, yeah, it's just like, look at that. That was the case nine, too. I have seen so many hands go down today, it's ridiculous. I got bluff catcher. Anybody gonna bluff? It's kind of a bluff. That was eight. <laughs> uh, I mean, if the player has an overpair, it's what can I do? But he's betting the full pot. You shouldn't be betting the full pot with an overpair. Right. So I got to protect my fucking hand. Like, he bets a dollar thirty of his four dollars at the pot. Seem to be hitting second pair just so much today. I would have uh, C-bet my whole range there with the king-king on ace uh, XX. The reason why I didn't do it... Uh, oh, you mean out of the small blind? Yeah, out of the small blind. Uh, well, but remember, I 4-bet him. So I raised, he 3-bet, I 4-bet. And then uh, he checked from the small blind. So if you're talking about his move, he can't C-bet. He'd have to donk lead. 
Yeah, it was a four bet pot. Uh, he'd have to he'd have to donk lead. Look at this. I mean, it's just a waste of queens. It's just like what the hell. So yeah, he'd have to donk lead. I would be the one who would have to see bet. And when the ace hits the flop, here's the thing: either he's got an ace and I'm fucked, because he's not gonna fold an ace, right? If he three bet an ace and called, he's got ace king, right? It's it's not like ace jack. Like I'm not gonna get him to fold it. You know what I'm saying? So I just check it. And then when the turn comes off and it's nothing, he should be betting the turn. And I'm waiting for that. And the thing is, that player is not sophisticated enough to understand that's what I'm doing. Like, but I was waiting to call the turn in river bet. Then he checks the turn and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even going to try. And then on the river, he checks and it's like, well, this is either a hand that I have crushed that won't call me in this exact scenario, like pocket tens does fit into that. Or it's a rag-ass ace, like ace-jack, that won't fold to one bet anyway. So I can't bet it, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was the, the, the lesson learned was I should have just overbet jammed it to look weak. Like this one, I'm just check-calling, check-calling, just to try to keep this player betting. Oh, I mean, is there much reason to raise on this river? I don't think so. Because he's going to roll over, sure, jack nine, raising out of first, why not? But it's like, you see, like, three betting would have done me no good. Like, look at this. Like, he raised out of first. Do you think check raising does me any good here? Like, no. Like, I'm just expecting him to be betting something. If he shows me aces, it's fine, but, like... Why is he showing me jack nine? And you can't, you can't raise it out. You can't. Uh, it's certain states, Nevada, New Jersey, Delaware. I think there was supposed to be one more, but it never happened. I don't think. Yeah, it's just, it's just three states. And no joke, it's the worst fucking players you've ever seen. Like, it's profitable, but I'm, uh, I've am i been very frustrated the last three days because shit like that Jack-9 keeps coming off, and I am not hitting any draws. Like, somebody said it last night, they don't think they've seen me hit a, hit a flush or straight draw uh, in, like, four days, which happens. And, like, today already I've gotten aces cracked twice by a set like all the money just goes in on the turn super like here's the thing like uh, a flush straighty flop right where it's like nine eight deuce and uh so i see bet get called by both players the turn comes off creating another flush draw possible now there's hearts and diamonds player only has three dollars left there's three dollars in the pot i put the money in the guy has pocket deuces like that happened to me already twice today and you know similar fashion both times then the ace-queen. The ace-queen suited from the big blind. There's no point in three-betting that because a guy who's raising under the gun with jack-nine suited is not folding to a three-bet. He's just not. And even if I bet the flop just monstrous when I hit that queen, which, by the way, is dumb because you just kill your action, right? If you are ahead, which you shouldn't be, uh, the money's just going to go in and he's just going to get it all. So, like, this hand... Where was it? Is it over here? No, I think it was the other table. So, like this hand... Where is it? Like, I'm just betting here to just end this fucking pot already. And it's just immediately snap called. Watch, watch me get called here. It's just... Never... I mean, it's like... And you are in the cutoff, sir. Like, he was in second fucking... No, he wasn't in the cutoff. He was in second position. I was in the big blind. He's just limping anything. I've never, I've never made the note on so many players in the last three days 
100 V pip, meaning they're playing pretty much 100% of hands for a limp. And the funny part is, if the queen doesn't hit the river, I can bet it and win. And like his purpose of raising, you want to tell me what that was? It's just very frustrating. The past few days, and I'm not... Uh, I'm enjoying it, but I'm really trying to figure it out, and I'm... I, I want to just sit here and just nut up and make hands. But my desire to play well has me doing everything I should be doing normally. But the problem is it's not the way to beat this game. Like, I'm just kind of, you know, treading water and getting aces cracked. Like, I'm just staying where I am, staying where I am, till I make a monster hand and then getting cracked. Like, here's the thing. Like, this player's leading. Like, what's the point of the lead? Like, he's probably got a flush draw. He's never got a jack, right? I'm just going to keep calling because there's no purpose. I can't fold. There is no fold here. Right. He just leads out with a jack right into the fucking queens. I see bet small size, 25% pot in 4-bet pots, especially on uh, ace, x, and king x flops. I will start to do it a little bit of checking middling connecting flops, but nowhere near as much as 3-bet pots and the spring of 4-bet pots. Yeah, those are all great theories. Uh, one in tournaments and two not on this site. They, it, I, I get exactly what you're saying. And you're right. Where the game is played by sane fucking people that aren't just stupid fucking gamblers. Villain was short. No, he started... Well, he started the hand with 60 blinds. Called off, you know, 15 of it to get the... Uh, the flop so put a quarter of his stack in with deuces like that's the thing it's like general things like you need 10x so like a player with 60 blinds on the table meaning six dollars if there's if there's a, a raise and a re-raise how do you ever call but a guy raised i re-raised and then he just cold called it with the deuces and it's just like you're just gonna lose so many times Like, and this just leading? Like, am I supposed to fold the fucking 10 jet? Like, this is just... Like, I'm not supposed to fold the queens, right? Maybe I should just go, be going absolutely apeshit pre-flop. Like, just fucking, like, jamming the whole stack in. Like, there was a limp and a limp, and a guy made it 3x. It feels like WSP has more 9-max tables than 6-max. You're just focusing on 9-handed games. Yeah. Yeah, because the 6-max, the as much of a shit show as this is the six max is just as bad and and honestly i don't enjoy six max as much for cash i love it for tournaments but if you think there's no range because here's the thing man when you're playing poker the first question you're going to ask yourself is what does my opponent's range look like i i'm not exaggerating 80 percent of the people i see on this site their range is a deck of cards like, literally, if you go, what cards are in your range? Just They could just hold up a deck. It's everything. There are, I mean, and here's the thing. If you think I'm exaggerating, I mean there are zero qualifiers. The amount of times I have raised 
seen a flop of ace, deuce, king, and I have ace, king, and bet, and gotten called by 10 deuce or deuce nine, like, and that's not in the blind. That's like in middle position. So then I bet the turn and they fucking call again. And then on the river, I'm like, maybe I should check this one. I check and then they roll over the 10 six or the fucking, you know, bottom pair, no hope. And it's just like, what, what, what is happening here? So when there's no range construction, the only way to realistically beat a game is by making hands better than the other guys. And the only way to realistically do that is to start out with better cards. Problem is, I'm running a little bit below expectation lately. Uh, so I'm kind of just running around in circles. Like I'm getting good steals, I'm getting semi good value, but I'm getting cracked a ton. And the thing of it is, like, I will say the one major leak that I've had is that I, I'm so amazed at what is being played against me that I'm paying off rivers. And I know I shouldn't be paying off rivers because these fucking players don't bluff rivers. So if I could stop doing that, but it's like so many times I'm sitting there going, does this guy really have Jack 10 suited exactly? And that's the only hand that can bet this way in a four bet pot. Like I'm calling it just to see, just to like, and being right is actually worth the money. Like just to be like, well, I guess I'm not crazy. It's not even like for information to play against the other players. It's, it's like, I feel like I'm insane. And I'm like, this is the only hand it can be, but it can't be this fucking hand. This pot was bet, raised and re-raised before this player entered the pot. And then they just cold called. Like, and then they just show 10 jack. Suited, literally. Just like the exact suit, one combination. So it's very frustrating. Like, this guy's sitting here with $2.20 and he's limping from the small blind. No one should allow him to play. Players, players need to be just absolutely punished and pounded on until they put full stacks on the table. Like, but then you have this fucking moron who's limping with fucking, you know, 17 fucking blinds. It's just, or 17 fucking dollars on the table. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, I can't, there's, like, I'm supposed to three bet this. But I just, I can't. There are certain hands that can be four bet jams. Yeah, those kings on this site, those those kings should have been a four bet jam. I only four bet it because it was the player I was up against, and I honestly thought he would jam it for me. Like, it was player specific, but normally that's a four bet jam. Yeah, I don't I don't believe in four bet re raises very often. I honestly don't. Like, but see now I'm getting three bet from the small blind here take it like I'm the only person with a raise full range I don't think I've seen one other person raise get re-raised in full yeah honestly there's uh, many hands are a four bet jam tens plus in this game are a four bet jam if you're like in the cutoff in the small blind uh, three bets like you'd be surprised and I, I'm just annoyed. It's not like, yeah, see this one, because of position, I'm going to pump it up. See, now I'm getting led into. And it's like, I'm not supposed to fold. I know that. I get action from the shortest stack. Like, what is this? And it's, it's a total fucking station, so there's like... I just have to see it. It's ace-jack. Like, they're never folding. Like, and I know that my notes are, do not bluff this player. Like, I might just be betting into the fucking flush here, but like, what can I do? 
See, and they call. What are you calling with? A pair of like, but he doesn't bet the turn. Like, here's the thing: bets the flop, gets called, doesn't bet the turn. I thought you were protecting your hand. Why are you not betting the turn? Like, and I do, I do check raise huge in that spot a ton. It's not a general leak that I have. It's a leak that I have on this site specifically. Because I'm dumbfounded by what they keep rolling over. And it, it's I'm more dumbfounded the times that I win. Like, look at this. Like, I'm more dumbfounded the times that I win than I am the times that I lose. Times that I lose, I end up going like, do you really have this? Like, I'm just going so huge with these pre-flop raises. Because you have to. Like, I mean, I don't want to rely on having to hit cards. And that's that's what it's been. Yeah, I don't have... I don't have that leak on other sites, man. Trust me. I do not. Like this 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 player is ridiculous. Like I should probably be calling the three five. Like that's how ridiculous this player is. And he's just checking. It's look at this. Like and I know this shit. But it's it's so hard to do. Like it it's just it goes against everything I know about poker. And then he just checks down. And the guy with the flush checks behind, like there was no bet after the pre-flop raise. Why are you not betting the river? I mean, is it a fucking team? Like, look at this. I guarantee this is just going to be trash. Hey, thanks for the follow, Vitaly. Yeah, you see what happened there, doubt. This is this is this is a poker time capsule of retardation. 
like the player is supposed to bet the turn to protect against the flush. He doesn't do it. Uh, and then the river comes off, making the flush possible, and he still pays. Like, this is just such donkey shit. Like, I... I... No, the preflop ISO works because, technically, because when you make it huge, they're going to call with all pairs, right? So, you want other pair, you know, smaller pairs to call you, and you have kings or aces, so they just call, and then you just kind of have to fly blind. Like, look at this. There's a four flush, there's a three flush, four straight board. There was no betting in this pot. No betting. And this player, this player calls me with a seven. Like, on what planet? On what planet am I betting less than a seven? Seven nine, no less. A seven, fine. I could see the call, but ugh. that's that's why I'm raising huge. I, I've I've given up raising huge with like ace king and ace king suited. Those honestly, you could probably just rip them. You could probably just jam the whole hundred blinds in, and, and it's a fine decision. But. <laughs> Aces, kings, queens. Somebody, you know, there's a bunch of limpers and you make it 19x. You're only getting called by pairs. You know what I'm saying? The ace, kings aren't calling there. They're jamming. So that's fine. So that's why I do the thing. The problem is I keep getting sets flop against me. It's happened four times today. And you don't, you don't change a winning method just because the result is shit. I have no idea why he didn't value why he didn't value bet his rivered flush. He didn't river the flush. I had a set versus ace ten. Oh, you mean the other one that doesn't bet the right? It seems bizarre, right? The other one that just there was he got three bet pre flop, or he limped the button. I called in the small blind. Big blind makes it five x. The pot gets checked down. He makes his best hand. He makes a flush, and doesn't bet the river. And here's the thing, you would think these players are working together, but I've seen so much of this. I tried tagging players, saying this might this one might be a team with that one, this one might be a team with that one. But then I've seen them uh I, I've seen them just go absolutely apeshit at each other. So it's not like they're ever soft playing or whatever. You often have to remember it's the micros. Uh there's validity to that, like this. Like this is there is no other bet here. There is no other bet here that I find good other than doing this. Because this min-raise and small re-raise, it's just like... You'd be shocked what's going to call me here. But I, I never want a 4-bet. Because I'm going to get called 3 times. My 4-bet has to be like 5 bucks to not get called 3 times. And with Ace-King, I'd rather just jam it in and see what happens. Because the Ace-Queens will call. You know what I'm saying? The you know Any pairs will call. That's fine. We can race all day. But, like, if I have queens there, there was a min ra there was a limp and a raise to 27 cents. If, if I had queens there, I'm making it four bucks to go. And I'm getting called twice, and then I'm just ripping all, all flops. Because nobody's got an ace. I don't care if there's an ace or a king on the flop. I'm, I'm ripping them all. And it's worked for me because you see people just call you with nines on a, like, ace-king-four board when you do that. And they're like, he wouldn't do that with ace-king or aces or kings. Right, but you don't have those, so my queens are good. Yeah, it is the micros, but 10 and L is not typically micro. It's low. It's not typically micro. Hey, what's going up, Casero? I agree. I'm, try I'm trying to explain to doubt what I'm up against here. And it's challenging, but I'll, I'll find it. Like, look at this.
Just going full pot. Like, uh, uh, enough of this. I'm just going to start monstrously betting all my good hands. Just because there's no other, there's no point not to. back guys I gotta take a leak kink in my back. Is there a table cap on poker stars for regular? I don't know what that means. Do they cap the number of tables you can play on poker stars? Yeah, I think that happened. 
a couple years ago. I don't know if they still do it. I can't play on Poker Stars. I'm in the U.S. They have Poker Stars New York, and I think it's in Pennsylvania, but it hasn't gone national yet. It was supposed to be this year, but... Never came about. There's a little pandemic that happened that kind of slowed down all that legislation. I guess it's just dumb. Like, just the perfect bet, bet, bet scenario, and I'm just... And he's in the fucking blind. How do you have a hand that strong in the goddamn blind? So this player raised. I re-raised. He calls it. I just wonder if there's any consideration of folding. Does this guy ever fold like pocket nines here? Ugh. It's the, the funny part is it's never slow rolls, it's knit rolls. Like just what what do you uh, And it's like I want uh, And it's like I want to check the turn and jam river but it's like that that was just like a slow race like why don't you just jam like what is like how does he call like i should just always have a pair and he didn't even have a flush draw i mean it's like you see what i'm up against It's like, I know I'm just getting frustrated, but like, it, like the ace nine two pair, like no protection. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to, to type. What, what? What is that? The only, the only limit to these games is how many games there are going. I'm playing all 10 and L's right now. Like, there's, there's only six games on here.
How are you raising out of first and folding? Like, this is just a nightmare here. I know what it is. It's fine. I know what it is. It's just so frustrating. The fucked up part is you see people doing that with aces and with nothing. I have no idea why they're banned. Honestly, I don't think people should play on Poker Stars anyway. When Poker Stars allows, you know, is worldwide again, that's fine. But it's trash. Poker Stars has always been and will always be the most difficult site to win on. Like, you saw every pro leave Poker Stars, right? They all went to party poker and shit. Like, it's, it's trash for the pros. It's, it's, you know, just a bunch of gambling catering to fish. But the skill set is way higher than so many other fucking uh, uh, sites that it's just trash. I don't think people should play on it. Yeah, I would imagine they'll get their own platform. Yeah, I flopped the Brunson. Like, I'm not stopping. If you have a flush, fine. Like, I'm not stopping. Now you're thinking about it. Look at this. Like, what are you thinking about? They will ask Sub Premium for the license and Stars will pay it. I don't know what that means either. Like, what are you thinking about? What was this guy thinking about? He calls, you know, huge bets on the flop and turn. Like, what is he actually thinking about? Check raise jams, like, on this flop. N nice two pair, bro. You're a fucking moron. Got the absolute minimum. I'll tell you what, if you want to play poker for a living, I suggest living in any country other than the USA. With the amount, the amount of time and effort I put in to try to get dual citizenship with Canada so I could play on these other fucking sites, it was crazy. The Canadian side, no problem. I don't know. I don't know German poker stars. Like, I, I wouldn't... Uh, if, you know, it is what it is, I would try it. But international poker stars is the hardest fucking site in the world to win on. And there's like no rake back. The the point system is shit. It's just like if you put in a ton of volume, they don't want you there. Like, it's insane. Right, no rake back or higher uh, payoff. I swear to God, I want to break my fucking hand. How am I just getting called? And then, like, this should just be a bluff, but I can't... Like, it should just be a bluff. Like, how are these people just calling me? Like, nobody's protecting their fucking hand. <laughs> like, it's so frustrating. Like, what is that? None of this makes fucking sense.
Star is doing a much better job now. A lot of rakes came back that they sorted all their rake back system out. Yeah, well, they needed to. Because they basically, like, cost people their living when they killed Supernova. <sighs> Eight, right on the turn. Four on the river. Like, how much did I lose? Like, pocket sixes. Like, I mean, and I can't bet the turn. I can't bet the turn. the eight comes off and I can't bet the turn my two pair gets immediately counterfeited like I thought of just jamming the flop I really did like there was a 10 cent bet out there and I thought about putting in a hundred blinds I mean, that's the thing, too. If you're putting in a ton of volume, like, they should want you on their site. <sighs> I, I was trying to bet. I checked it by accident. Full pot. I don't think I'm supposed to fold here. Right? Like, that full pot bet is just always garbage. A7. Like, what is that? It's all changed now? That's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, they should. It should just be licensed and... Uh... <sighs> like, how do you bet now? When the ace comes off, how do you bet? Like, look at this. Like, this is just, it's unbelievable. It's, he never bet his own hand. Like, how? 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 Like, I was fully expecting that guy to jam the river, and I was snapping it. But then he didn't do it. Like, why didn't he do it? Like, what is this? This overbet. I have to see. Yeah, it's just that... Like, and he's playing it out of third. I mean, it's just like, there's just no logic. I just, I can't. I'm getting so upset now. I'm getting so upset. And I, here's the thing. I want to just say, stop trying to figure it out. Just play your own hands. Just stop looking for it. 
but my brain won't let me. My brain is compulsively looking for the answer. I can't fucking stop. Like, I'm just gonna play on equity, I think. If I have good equity, let's get the money in. Player calls. Like, this is an insane bet. This should be protecting a, a set right here. Like, what are you even thinking about? Like, that's how far you have to go. It's a stupid fucking raise. Why would you just reopen the betting? Like you're you're supposed to be the screwed guy here. Of course I fucking miss it. Just bet you fucking jamoke. Jesus Christ. See what I'm doing here? 20x. I'm I'm just tired of this with the fucking big pairs. You don't even know why you're calling on the flop, do you? Playing on. Do you mean equity? Are you trying to say equity? Oh, equity and implied pot odds. Yeah. How do I win this? I see bet this flop. What are you possibly calling with? Just a gut shot. Like, what? Like, you know how, <laughs> you know how the worst players are sitting there going, well, this guy could have queen 10 when the flop comes off ace, king, jack, and you have aces. And they're like, he could have queen 10. Like, you have to do the reverse for why am I getting called? 
well, this player could have a gut shot, so I should keep betting. Like, it's absolutely insane. I'm not tilted. I'm just I'm really trying to solve the problem. Like I, I know it's I know it seems like I'm aggravated or whatever like that or it's just frustrating. I don't think I'm playing below my ability. And I don't think I'm doing things that are reckless and I don't think I'm I don't think I'm playing on tilt at all. I'm just it, it's possible to be to be frustrated without being on tilt, you know what I mean? And uh, trust me, I, I I quit when I when I need to quit, hundred uh, percent. See, like this one. This 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 should be a jam, because this player is three betting everything. Because this player called behind, though, I'm just gonna call. The problem is anything includes every ace. I'm not overplaying hands. I'm not. I'm not playing hands outside of my my best ranges. It's you know it's possible to be annoyed and not be uh, on tilt. Tilt, 7-5, jam out of the small. Now the fucking club hits the river. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Just the nuts. Just always the nuts. No 3-bet. Alright, now I'm tilted. Because I, I made him put in 80% of his... Uh, can only have one hand can only have one hand and like no three bet you know what it is it's just a bummer I'm gonna uh, stop.
cool, man. I hope she uh, does better. Yeah, I need to stop. Now, now I'm now I'm aggravated to the point of tilt. So I'm gonna stop. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm just really bummed out. You know, just just so many unbelievable things. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it. I'll see you guys later.